Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, where a and b are the parameters related by the equation a square plus b square is equal to c square. As for the procedure, we have to differentiate with respect to the given parameter and eliminate the parameter to find the envelope. And already there are two parameters which is related by the equation a square plus b square is equal to c square. From this we can take b square as c square minus a square and that can be replaced in the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by c square minus a square equal to 1. Now we are going to differentiate this equation with respect to the parameter a. So the first term is x square into 1 by a square other than a remaining are treated as a constant and this differentiation will be the constant x square is written as it is 1 by a square is minus minus 2 by a cube. Actually, this is a power minus 2. When we differentiate minus 2, a power minus 3. That's why it is minus 2 by a cube. In the same way, this will be y square is a constant. And 1 by c square minus a square is minus 2. Sorry, minus 1 by c square minus a square whole square. And differentiation of this will be minus 2. 2a which is equal to 0. So here we have y square into 1 by c square minus a square. So this is like 1 by x term. 1 by x differentiation is minus 1 by x square. So the whole term is treated like a x. So we apply the formula and by chain rule this differentiation will be minus 2a. Now the second term, we shall take it to the other side. These both the minus gets cancelled. Now the first term is minus 2x square by a cube. And this is plus, when we take to the other side, minus 2ay square by c square minus a square whole square. We shall cancel minus 2 on both the sides and the remaining is x square by a cube equal to ay square by c square minus a square whole square. Now by cross multiplication we shall bring this a to the other side. So we have x square by a power 4 equal to y square by c square minus a square whole square. We are going to use a ratio property for that we need a term like this so that we can replace it with 1. So we need x by x square by a square and y square by c square minus a square. So from this I am going to rewrite this as x square by a square then whole division a square. This is actually x square by a power 4 but we split like this which is equal to y square by c square minus a square again whole division c square minus a square so that this is y square by c square minus a square whole square. So we firstly split like this and use a ratio property so that we can add the numerators of this and write it as a separate ratio x square by a square plus y square by c square minus a square. In the same way we add all the denominators and write it as a denominator for the new ratio a square plus c square minus a square. So we added this and this. Here we can cancel these two 
and the numerator is nothing but 1 from this equation x square by a square plus y square by c square minus a square is 1. So, this entire term is replaced with 1. So, finally, once again, this can be written as x square by a power 4 equal to y square by c square minus a square whole square equal to 1 by c square. So, we take these two and we are going to find what is a. After cross multiplication, a power 4 is c square x square. Then we take square root on both the sides. a square is equal to cx. And we need a square only. So, better we keep a square itself. Because we have to replace a square in the this equation. In the same way, c square minus a square we need. So, we take these two terms. And this will become after cross multiplication. c square minus a square whole square is c square y square taking square root c square minus a square will become c y. So, coming to the substitution we already have x square by a square plus y square by c square minus a square equal to 1. So, x square by c x in place of a square we replace and in place of c square minus a square it is c y equal to 1. After cancelling this x square with this and y with this, we left with x plus y and there is a common denominator c equal to 1. By cross multiplication, we are getting finally x plus y equal to c, which is the required equation of the envelope.